Hey YouTube, this is Manny B, and you guys are watching Inspire Your Minds. Today, we're going to be talking about how to kill that ego. You know that ego that holds you back, it takes you out of your misery, not able to meet the love of your life, your job success rate is going down the drain, and life is definitely not going on in your favor. Let's just face it, you got this ego problem, you got this PhD, you got this master's, you got this doctorate and degree, and you feel like you're on top of the world. And when shit hits rock bottom, you're just not ready to settle for lower or just to hit meet ends meet. It's just not in your, in your mindset. Let's face it. But I just want to tell you guys out there that I had a situation where I was unemployed for a month or two. And I had this experience in IT and much more. And I felt like I was on top of the world, especially coming from a Fortune 500 company. I was getting a lot of good leads, but it just didn't... It just didn't happen. I was getting rejected. Whatever. But I did find a job, found a career, a job. But it, it, it just wasn't uh, my expectation as far as the pay was concerned. A little bit of short change, but you know, I had this ego on my mind, my, my body, and kept saying that why are you setting, settling for something lower than what you were making at, at, at the, the, the job previously. But it, it was hard. It was hard to actually talk to yourself and get this ego out of your mindset but sometimes you know what it is you just have to settle for something lower and the, the best thing about it is that you will gain more experience at, at the current job wherever you're getting opportunity for and it's, it's for the better so don't take it all negative and don't say to yourself I'm not ready to settle for less because my ego says I'm, I'm making this much money and I should be making that much money because I have this degree and I have all this asset and much more but that's actually killing your game in, in a way because you're not actually able to grow as a human being just because you got this high elite degree and you're not ready to settle for lower. You're actually kicking yourself in the curve and not letting opportunity come to you. And, and let's face it, some of you are not even ready to go down to that level. And I, I pity yourself in a way because you're actually you're not growing as a human being, you're letting the job define you as a human being and that's an ego and that ego needs to get removed and let's just take away the job market for a minute and let's talk about the love market for a moment. Some of you guys have this ego situation where you, you see him or her at a certain job position and you, you feel that you know, I'm, I'm at this level already, I'm making X amount of money, I have this degree but I'm, I'm not ready to settle or associate or get get with the girl because she's she's at, at a, a lower standard she's working at a, at a menial job and you you get this ego that's taking you from actually pursuing this opportunity which will actually help you grow as a human being and maybe there's an opportunity for you to go there in the love direction and for you guys out there when you have this mindset that you know I'm, I'm at this level, I'm a, a manager, executive, analyst, or whatever it is, and I see this young, beautiful girl, and, you know, working at Starbucks or a Walmart, and she's beautiful and everything else, but it's just that she doesn't meet my standard. I have this ego that's telling me we should be at that same level. Same thing for you women out there, vice versa. So I, I tell you guys is to get rid of this ego, and you're gonna grow as a human being and take it to the next level. And that's what's holding you guys back. Even associating with certain people in, in life, whether it's parties, whether it's a group function, whether it's at the job, you feel you're at this position, you're an accountant or whatever, and then you see a person at, at the call center position and you, 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 you feel you can't really relate with that person or you feel your ego is holding you down and telling you you shouldn't be associating with those type of people who is at a lower level and you guys are doing a disservice to yourself you're letting your ego take over and not letting yourself meet people that are in the same mindset as you so there's three things I recommend you guys do to actually get rid of this ego well, number one is, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up. So what I recommend you do is become a volunteer. You know, you got this highly degree. You you know, you've been PhD, master, whatever it is, bachelor. And I want you to really dig down deep and give back to the community. Take your ego out of the, the, the picture for a moment. 
go to Skid Row. There's a bunch of Thanksgiving events out there at the mission and they need volunteers. So this is basically going to get rid of your ego and be in part with people that are basically not on your level. So reach out there, become a volunteer, you know, help serve the, the unfortunate people at the Thanksgiving event. Number two, what I want you guys to do is basically give back to the com community. Become a mentor for a day or two. And when you do this, you're getting rid of this ego. You're saying to yourself, you know, I'm at this level. Now I'm going to the lower level and becoming a servant to the to the human being, becoming a service to the human being. And this will basically get rid of your ego and you'll see it diminish slowly by surely. And number three, I want you to go out there and reach out to people that are, are not on your level. Okay, wherever you work, there's people that are doing menial jobs. Let's say there's a security guard out there, there's the front desk, there's the cleaning person. And I want you to really reach out there and give them a smile, make them feel happy. And when you do this, you're actually going beyond and above. You know, you're actually associating with people that are not on your level. You know, maybe they they never even went to college or whatever it is, the situation is. But you're going to basically get, get rid of this ego by actually bringing a smile on, on those type of people as well. Let's face it, we're all human beings. We all want love. We all want peace. And it, it doesn't matter about this, this higher level where we are brainwashed by the media. So do those three things and this will definitely get rid of this ego. And then pe people will see that and will see that you're just like them. You're just a regular human being with just a, a higher intelligence. So with that said, um, I want you also to check out this book, which I've been reading. It's called Invisible Tread. It's by Laura Sharouf. And it's, it's, it's a great book because it's a, it's a young lady. She's in her 30s. And she actually reaches out to this young black guy, homeless guy in, in, in New York. And she becomes a friend to him. She becomes a mentor to, to him. And she, she pretty much changes her, his life for the better. So that would also take away your ego. Because, you know, she's at this high level. You know, she's a consultant lady making deals or whatever. And she's actually reaching out to somebody at, at, a, at a lower level and trying to change people's lives for the better. And this this basically shows you how, how her ego is it's it's going down the level because a lot of a lot of her peers are looking at her and thinking she's crazy for doing such a thing. But same thing for you guys out there is to try this out and you'll see your ego diminish. With that said, I wanna thank you again for being part of Inspire Your Minds. And if nobody loves you, remember Manny V always loves you. So leave a comment below and definitely subscribe and check us out on the website at www dot inspireyourmind.org. Till then, have a wonderful day. Peace.